Hi, and welcome to The Future Car Show, the series where we look at the motors that will be driving you into the future. Today, we're looking at the Nissan Leaf, one of the first commercially produced electric cars, and we're going to see if it's still as pioneering as it was when it was first released four years ago. From the outside, there's not that much to talk about. It looks basically like a Nissan Micra that's put on a few pounds and gained a few lumps and bumps here and there. And the only thing that really gives away that you've got an electric car that's a bit different is these little zero emission badges. Uh, there's one there, there's one on the back, and there's a blue Nissan badge on the front. But if you come round to the back of the car, there is one quite cool feature that they've added on, and it's a solar panel that's right here on the wing. Now, this is the second edition of the Leaf, and the first, they had some feedback from the users that they were slightly anxious every time they switched on the air conditioning or they needed to switch on the heating, um, because they would lose three or four miles on their range. So to sort of, you know, deal with that and remedy the problem, they've added this little solar panel uh, to kind of offset the problem. And it does make you wonder what possibilities they could have if they turn the whole roof into a massive solar panel. Um, so other than that, it's not a very impressive car from the outside, but inside it's a totally different story. It's not just the electric engine that makes the Nissan Leaf a nice place to be. Um, inside, uh, it's quite modern and considerately designed. Uh, you can see, instead of the normal jumble and cluster of buttons, you have this quite simple, responsive touchscreen. Here, it'll give you the sat-nav, and also, if you hit this zero emission button, uh, it'll give you all the information to do with the battery. So, uh, particularly useful amongst all these other things is the driving range. So as well as get telling you in miles in your dashboard how far you can go, you get a visual representation where the white circle is kind of your lower limit and the grey is your upper limit. So you probably don't want to go towards Bridgewater if you don't want a hairy ride there. The dashboard is also really well arranged. On the right you've got your range in miles. Uh, we're on 22, we've been driving it for nearly a week now. We started with that 88. And above it, where you can see the dots and the circles, that's showing you how much power you're putting on the pedal, like, like you'd have a rev range for your car. The first thing you notice when you drive the Leaf is its pick up and get go. Nissan says it'll do 0 to 60 in 11 seconds, but it feels far, far faster than that. And that's because the electric engine is delivering all of its power to the wheels the second you put your foot down. Unlike a petrol or a diesel, which has to kind of wait till it gets to an optimum rev range, the Leaf has it all the time. So in a city where you're having to get off the lights quickly or nip into a place, this is perfect. Also, the second benefit of that electric engine is just how quiet it is in here. Um, now here we are on this leafy sort of road and it's fine, but in the sort of, there's cars of the city with big traffic jams, while diesels and petrols engines tick over and sputter all around you. This is perfectly quiet, perfectly cool, and um, it makes for a real little oasis while you're making your sort of commute to work in the morning. So, the Nissan Leaf makes a pretty great city car. It's cheap to run, it's nippy, and it's lovely and quiet to be inside. That said, there are some sacrifices. When we got the car, it was fully charged and clocked a range of 88 miles. Now, after driving about 40, maybe 50 miles, we've only got 22 left. Uh, so you're not gonna do any big round trips, you know, more than 40 miles each way. That said, if this is what electric cars are gonna be like, and are gonna continue improving from here, then I have to say it's quite a promising thing for the future because the more of these we have on the road, the cleaner and greener our cities will be. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Also, if there's anything else you want us to review, do let us know in the comments. 
We do also have other videos out there, so feel free to check those out on the channel.